Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Falling Over Books. For today's video I'm doing a book unhaul. I have about 17 books that I kind of want to get rid of so I thought I would share them with you guys. So before I start I just want to say that these books are not bad and I'm not hating on them. I'm just getting rid of them because I'm not going to ever reread them or I just don't really care to keep them. So I am going to either be donating them or selling them. So the first book I am unhauling is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I actually think I gave this five stars on Goodreads, which I don't know why. I think I was just like in that space where I just gave books <laughs> ratings, even though I didn't feel as true to my rating. But I kind of wanted to reread this at one point. But honestly, I'll just watch the movie. I still haven't seen the movie, so I feel like I could just watch the movie instead of rereading this and save my time for other books. But yeah, I'm getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. This is actually a recent... No, I've had this for like a year, I think. But I, I recently read this maybe two or three months ago. And... And I liked the writing, but other than that, I didn't really care for the characters. I found that it was like really trying to give marriage and relationships a really bad rap. Like it was just really showing the bad side of relationships and marriage. So I was just like, no. <laughs> Next is another mystery slash th thriller, and that is Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Noel. This I thought was going to be a thriller. It's more of a mystery and I just don't care. <laughs> I don't care to keep this. I bought it at a thrift store. Same with um, Fates and Furies. I bought these both at a thrift store. So I didn't pay, oh my gosh, I can't talk. I didn't pay full price for these. So I don't really feel bad about like re-donating them or getting rid of them because I just, I don't really care. <laughs> Then another mystery and thriller. Can we see a theme here? I wasn't impressed by any of these. This is Find Her by Lisa Gardner. This is more of a mystery than it is a thriller, I would say. I bought this brand new. It was like, I think it was like 25% off. That's why I bought it. But I wasn't impressed and I feel like if you had read this series in order you might have liked this book but I this was the first Lisa Gardner book that I've read so I didn't really like it like I think it's the D.D. Warren series which I had interest in reading the first book I think but now that I have I don't know if I'll continue because I've read this book and I don't know then I have The Night We Said Yes by Lauren Gabaldi. This came out, I think, 2016. Let me refresh my memory. Oh, 2015. And I bought this brand new. It was alright. It was a decent contemporary. I think I gave it three stars. Nothing horrible, but it didn't amaze me, so I feel like I should pass it on to someone else. Same with Magnolia. I don't know why I can't say that. But Christy Cook. This I had heard like amazing things about this book. I had thought that it was going to be like this amazing um, enemies to lovers trope in YA, but honestly it let me down. Like it just wasn't as intense as I thought it was going to be and like it was very bland in my opinion. So I feel like someone else will appreciate this more than I will. Last year's Mistake by Gina Kioka. Sioka. This I obviously got for bargain, so I didn't pay full price, but this was a decent read. I mean, I barely remember what happens, to be honest, but it was kind of like a three, two and a half star read, you know? Basic, nothing special, but still like an entertaining read. So I'm just, I'm gonna get rid of it for someone so I can make more room in my own collection and do that. Uh, Strands of Bronze and Gold by Jane Nickerson. This I bought at a thrift store, so I didn't pay full price, which I'm happy about because this I think I gave two stars. Like, I just wasn't impressed. It kind of reminded me a little bit of 
shadow and bone meets uprooted and I did not like uprooted <laughs> so I'm just gonna get rid of it okay this is one that we got to talk about all is not forgotten by Wendy Walker I don't know if I unhauled this already I don't feel like I did I couldn't even read this I had to DNF it it was just way too intense it was way too like I don't want to say over the top but it was it was so descriptive and just I could not read it. It made me so uncomfortable. It made me kind of have a little bit of a anxiety attack because this deals with <clears throat> rape and sexual assault and it describes the rape in full detail. And I was not prepared to read that. I had no idea it was going to be like so... Like I thought it was going to be very like glossed over but it was actually very real and that's it scared me and I was like I can't read this I can't read this so I'm getting rid of this luckily I bought this at the thrift store so I paid full price for it but it was just too much for me to handle as yeah it was just it was too much for me oh, I'm getting heated even just talking about it because it was very um very harsh next book is under a painted sky by Stacey Lee and I bought this on Bargain. I had wanted to buy this since it came out, but I didn't want to pay full price because I didn't know if I'd like it. Good thing I didn't buy it full price. I cannot talk. I'm so sorry. But good thing I did not buy it for full price because it was just an eh story for me. I liked the female characters and I liked their friendship in here, but other than that, it was really boring. Next is Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. This I also bought for Bargain. I think it was $8. And, and this to me more reads middle grade, but maybe that's because I'm so old already that a lot of YA is sometimes a little too YA middle grade. And that was like this for me. It was, it was enjoyable and it was cute, but it's not something I would ever reread. So next is Every Breath by Ellie Marnie. This I'd heard like amazing things about and I read it and I was like, I don't get it. Um, I don't, I think my biggest problem is I don't like characters, especially in YA, who mask their feelings with humor. I understand like, you know, sometimes it's really good to joke about how you're feeling, but not all the time. I cannot stand that in a character when it's just like constantly joking and like making fun of how they feel or making fun of like serious situations. I just, I don't like that in characters. I want them to be a hundred percent real and honest. And if you can't be that way, you're just really annoying to me. So this was really annoying and I wanted to like it. It's like a modern day Sherlock Holmes retelling type thing, but no. Next I have The Nest by Cynthia Dupree Sweeney. This I bought basically brand new and it was like a two star read for me. I think if you love family dramas you might like this but to me there just wasn't enough drama and maybe I just didn't like the characters as much. Like I think it would have been good if like all the characters were like all very dramatic but like there was maybe one or two that were dramatic and then the rest I was like yeah, so I didn't care about the characters. The story was all right, and like I appreciate the ending. But and next is a whole series I'm getting rid of, and this I just realized that this author is probably not for me. Sadly, I have read a couple of her books, and I just realized I don't think she's the author for me. And that is Kelly Armstrong, and I just want to like her books so much because you know she's Canadian and. I just want to support her and her books, but I just, I cannot. So I bought all of these four books at the thrift store, so I don't really feel that bad of getting rid of them because I didn't pay full price, which, thank you. So the first book is Omens. The second book is Visions. The third book is Deceptions. Oh, these are super heavy. And the fourth book is Betrayals. And I believe there's the fifth book out. 
but I only read book one and I wasn't really the biggest fan. So I'm not going to hold on to all of these because I don't really want to read them. So I might as well just re-donate them so other people can read the series. So those were all the books that I'm unhauling. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. Clearly I wasn't the biggest fan, so I'm getting rid of them. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.